Jane Morgan, more and more people seem to be getting COVID, even in this newsroom, for example, but it seems to be more mild, right? In some cases, anyway. What is that doing for people's guard? George, one thing we see with this Omicron family, because no matter the variant, there has been mild disease. By and large, people are letting their guards down. But this family has been smart enough to cause mild disease and have enough stealth that it has been the most infectious family that we have had to date. And what that means is it has been able to be incredibly successful by being smart and having stealth and reinfecting again and again and again, which continues to prolong its life. It does. We want people to be smart, too. And there's something we need to know about the more times we get COVID. How does that contribute to long COVID? Those things that we may not even know about yet. Such a great question. Not only are we discovering long COVID increases the more times you are reinfected, regardless of how sick you are, we also see that it can impact your cortisol levels. It also can reactivate Epstein-Barr virus and mononucleosis in your body. And we're beginning to see that those may be contributing to that chronic fatigue and that shortness of breath that we see in long COVID patients. So reinfections, please take them seriously and make certain you protect yourself. Some great points, even though they may be more mild, long-term effects, they're definitely there. Dr. Jane Morgan, Executive Director of the COVID Task Force at Piedmont. Thank you. Thank you.